In Britain, we live in times when the protection and well-being of our young has never been more scrutinised. And we are rightly appalled when violence or cruelty is directed against them. But not all countries are like this. For some, children's rights to protection from harm depends on who you are. Every 12 hours, a Palestinian child is arrested. Their crimes, defiance against the state, they blame for their misery. As night follows day, everyone knows that if a military convoy enters a Palestinian village, the young men and boys will throw stones at it. They are provoked and encouraged to retaliate. Children as young as eight, full of anger. There is a problem with violence. Rock throwing, throwing Molotov cocktails, as a, other forms of violence is unacceptable. And of course, the security authorities have to bring it to an end when it happens. The chances of the army being able to identify the perpetrator are next to nil. The solution that's been devised is extremely effective. What it is is basically collective punishment. <laughs> However, it's not legal. Since 1967, Palestinians and their children have lived under the control of the Israeli military. For them, the consequences of defiance can be kidnap, torture and imprisonment. Very rarely are the parents told why their child has been arrested or where their child has been taken to in the middle of the night. The interrogator will want to know who that child's friends are. We'll try to recruit them as an informant. In 12% of the cases we've documented, the children were held in solitary confinement. In many cases, it amounts to torture. Remarkably, the country responsible is embraced by Western leaders as a fellow democracy and a force for good. Yes, we are bound to Israel because of the interests that we share, but ultimately it is our common ideals. The world needs Israel's values of tolerance and justice, those values clear and strong and rejecting all challenges to them and those who would corrode them. Today's report concludes that Israel's treatment of child prisoners breaches the Geneva Conventions and the UN Convention on the Rights of a Child. In Britain, the abuse of minors has been blamed on culture, bureaucratic failure and social breakdown. But the scandalous mistreatment of West Bank Palestinian children is a strategic part of Israel's policy for the domination and demoralisation of an occupied people. A people who, after 46 years of brutal oppression, continue to resist. <laughs>